Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, this week is, I guess, going to be something a little bit different. I really didn't know what to do, but I was pretty busy working on the engineering project, so I kind of guess I am going to show you what's going on there. So let's jump into this. Alright, so first I guess I'm going to explain what this engineering project is. So, it's a uh, semester-long project that I and five other engineering majors were teamed up to accomplish. Now, at the start of the semester, they basically asked our group and every other group in this class to come up with our own project. Traditionally, this class was a class where you would be teamed up with other engineers to build an RC car of sorts, you know. And it would have like certain tasks to do. It would have to go over a certain type of terrain and meet a certain type of qualifications. But this year, with the new format of how classes are a lot more online and just differently structured, they have kind of left that up to us. They said, you know, come up with your own ideas. And they give us some guidance, you know. Obviously, if you came up with something that was totally impossible, they would tell you, don't do that. Or something that was so simple, they would let you know. But for ours, our group decided we wanted to make a parking lot counter. So I'll explain this really quick with a quick little demo. It's not very complicated. I think it's just easier to understand how it works with a quick little visual thing. So in this scenario, this is a very small parking lot, but there's going to be six open or six spots total here. As you can see, there are three spots taken. So our idea would be to have a sign that says spot spots spots open so uh, the idea would be that you'd be driving by and on the side of the road there'd be a thing that says spots and then it would show like three out of six this way you would know before you even entered the parking lot if there was an open spot you know the whole idea behind this was we've all struggled with parking and right now there's no reliable way to know if there's open spots in a parking lot as a lot of the good parking is highly contested so we thought it'd be really cool if there was a sign that, you know, actually showed you that so you didn't have to waste the time of going in the parking lot, looking around, and then just you'd end up being disappointed anyways because the lot was full. Now, obviously, if a new car were to enter, it would display two out of six. And if a car, or a car were to leave, it'd say four out of six. You know, it's pretty easy to understand. So that's basically the whole basis of it. With this whole class, it actually isn't striving to be a final product you know we aren't expected to have a full-fledged working project it's it's kind of you know dependent on how difficult your project was with ours and I think with a lot of others they expect us to get a few good prototypes out but there's no way they can expect us to have a fully working project in just a semester with a bunch of people you just met so we are planning on going through like two stages of prototyping I believe the first one we've already got done it was super simple each person in their own discipline kind of came up with their own prototype. So me being computer science, I just wrote some sample code of how the user interface would work and, you know, how it could interact with uh, people, I guess. So I just wrote a simple program that asks somebody to define the size of a lot, how many open spots there are, and from there they can simulate cars going in and out from the lot by pressing a button, and the counter simply goes up and down. Obviously, it doesn't go below zeros because there's not going to be more than zero spots or uh, less than zero spots available, and it won't go above the size of the lot because if the lot's empty, it's going to have like 10 out of 10, not 12 out of 10 open. So that was that. And now we are currently moving on to the second round of prototyping. And this is where we will actually kind of start to intertwine our disciplines. So as of right now, I'm kind of tasked with working with the electrical engineer, which I'm honestly pretty excited about. There's that whole spectrum of electrical engineering that's kind of interested me for a while. And, you know, it's pretty cool. So my first thought, and actually our group's first thought, I guess I should say, was for our second prototype, we're going to have a scaled down model of what we want. So uh, I believe our mechanical engineer is going to print off like a 3D version of a parking lot. I don't know if it's going to be modeled after a specific parking lot or if it's just going to be generic. I don't think it'll matter in this application. And from there, we're going to have it to where like a toy car, like a Hot Wheel or something can drive through it and can trigger some sort of button or sensor. And then on some sort of display, actually this display right here, I'll show it to you guys up close this display it will show you how many open spots there are and it will also allow users to change the lot size and do a few other things and I already have that all set up so I'm going to show you guys how this works 
So right now this is how I have it set up. I have my Raspberry Pi 3 here that has my code on it. And I have it hooked up to this little 16 by 2 LCD screen. It might be kind of hard to see until it focuses, but I'll get that figured out later. Basically what it means is it can show 16 characters across and it has two different rows where you can display text, numbers, other things like that. So if we come over here, I actually have a project written, or a uh, <clears throat> program written in Python that is honestly extremely simple. I'll run it for you real quick and just show you how it works. So basically right here, it's gonna say the same thing that you'll see on the LCD. That was just a little thing I put in to help me create this and make sure everything was running fine. But we come down here, we're gonna focus. It's gonna say enter lot size. There we go, that looks a lot better. <clears throat> it's gonna say enter lot size. So here on my handy dandy little mini keyboard, I'm just gonna throw in 10 make it something small. It's going to ask me how many empty spots there are in this lot. Let's just say five for now. So right here it's going to say spots are available. Five out of ten. It's pretty easy. Now if we look over here, it's actually going to say this little prompt I have right here. So I can hit one to simulate a car entering a lot, hit two to simulate a car leaving, and then three and four I can either edit the lot size or edit the open spots. So just to show you this real quick, we can hit one and see that a car has entered, so there's going to be less spots. Easy peasy. And as you can see, I took the precautionary methods, and it won't go below zero. It will simply just account for that. And vice versa, I'll ask you to trust me on that, because I don't want to sit here and manually count up to 10. Now, if I were to go over here, I can hit 3. And it's going to ask me to enter the lot size, and then it's going to show my current lot size. So right now, it's set to 10. Let's say we go up to 25. It's going to display 1 out of 25 now, so that's pretty easy. And we can do the same thing for how many open spots. Let's say you miscounted or something went wrong and you had to reset it. It's going to ask you to enter the spots available. We have 25. Let's say there's 21 spots open. Easy peasy, it displays that. And as you can see, the program will keep on running, so this will keep on counting as long as I want it to. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I've been up to. It's been kind of busy. It took a little bit to get this figured out. <clears throat> oh, restart on that. So, that's kind of tilted, isn't it? That's good enough. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I was working on, you know, maybe this interests you, maybe it doesn't. If it doesn't, feel free to not pay attention, I guess. No, I don't like that. Take, take three. <clears throat> so I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I've been working on recently. Like I said, I've been pretty busy just with this and my other classes, so I didn't have any real good ideas for anything to talk about or to do for this video. So I hope this was interesting enough for you all. If you want to learn about it maybe more, I will link you a uh, few links that actually helped me learn about this. I was... <clears throat> I was pretty fine with the code part of it. Obviously, that's kind of what I do for my school. But with the wiring and everything else, I was completely lost. I've never done any of that before. So I found a few really helpful videos that helped me with this. And honestly, it was so simple. <laughs> it's something that you could have up and running in 5 to 10 minutes with literally zero experience coding or electrical engineering. So... That's that. I hope you guys enjoyed the little project idea. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It is a little bit challenging here and there, but it's quite fun. And yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you next Sunday.